Comments written by Kevin Adams and other school board members last May in an end-of-the-year review of Superintendent Dr. Tim Smith show no signs of serious concern. Adams and four other board members listed Dr. Smith's work in various categories as effective and satisfactory. But since then, a flurry of issues have impacted the school district, from library books deemed inappropriate by the board to outrage from parents over the hiring of a principal at Bellevue Elementary and a struggling charter situation at Warrington Middle all of which have led to critiques of the superintendent, who summed up in a recent board meeting he feels he's the easy target to criticize. I'm easy pickings, right? I, I am. I just am. It's easy to blame me for everything. Having only completed one full year of leadership in the district, WEAR is examining the work done by Dr. Smith since being appointed to the position. 79% of our kids are on free and reduced lunch. Perhaps that's my fault. While more than a dozen schools have gone down in grades since the pandemic, the number of F and D rated schools have been cut by nearly two thirds since Dr. Smith's contract began. The school district as a whole has also improved, currently ranking 48th across the state compared to 52nd before the pandemic and maintaining a B rating. Despite this, the board will vote soon on returning to an elected official after Kevin Adams requested the referendum in February. Mr. Adams, you called for a referendum. I, I'm disappointed in that, but I know you've got some constituents who Facebook you and whatnot, and there's, there's that. I certainly hope that they take a lot of consideration before making that move because it, it, was, a, it was a historic vote and the, and the people spoke. District 1 Commissioner and former school board member Jeff Bergosh says he favors an appointed superintendent, telling me it's an optimal method to remove politics from the position. I served with two uh, elected superintendents of school, two different ones, and they were heavily involved in politics. They were writing checks to candidates for the school board and writing checks for opponents to the school board for the candidates you know, that they liked. From disciplinary issues to truancy and other growing concerns, Bergosh feels Dr. Smith is being unfairly critiqued for problems that existed long before his time in Escambia County. There are still some, some issues in the school district that I'm hearing about that we had, you know, when I was on the board starting in 2006. I don't think it's fair to hang those issues that are historic in Escambia County around the neck of this first appointed superintendent. 